Hello and welcome to another FS19 mods review. Here today we have uh, got uh, a mod pack we're going to have a look at. And also a separate mod, but we'll go into the mod pack to start off with. The mod pack uh, is a bit of a game changer if you haven't got... If you haven't got the Cotton DLC, the John Deere. Because uh, a new release on the Mod Hub yesterday was the John Deere um, 9996 Cotton Harvester. Very well detailed, as you can see. This one's slightly different because this one um, actually fills up like in game harvesters and you have to empty it. I don't make a bile and pump it out. So, uh, look, as you can see, it's very well detailed. That's ideal if you would like the John Deere Cotton Harvester in the game and you didn't really want or didn't fancy the DLC, which is in game. As you can see, I've got Trelleborg tyres on this one. Uh, we'll just jump in it and have a quick look inside. That's the John Deere Powertech Tier 2. Very well detailed inside. I don't know if any doors or anything open. I don't think so. <coughs> Excuse me, let's just try the lights are all light up nice inside. Interior light. But uh, what we'll do is we'll just check make sure all the light snap work. The rear lights don't seem to be working. Uh, the indicators are working. had this issue before with a mod. But I'll try it in a minute when I fold it down. Like I say, very detailed machine. And then we'll have a look at it in the shop in a minute. And then this machine beside it is what they call a baler. They call it a baler. And what you do is you can unload your harvester because um, the object of this machine has high, you know, high tip and that can tip into fairly high trailers. So it'll tip into this. I don't think I'll tip into any other trailer in the game. Just the actual cart and equipment. But that'll tip into this baler. And we'll have a look at this in there. This is very well detailed as well. It's classed as a baler. Um, I think you just leave it in the in the field. And then you can, I've discovered you can actually bring this machine over to uh, fill it up. Or I don't know if you can actually run beside it. You probably can. And and collect that. But the the main object is I'll show you in the in the shop. The these pieces are under cotton technology tools. And this machine is called the Bass. A six thousand eight hundred to buy. And it holds four thousand litres of cotton as a sugar cane as a they call it a a sugar cane trailers are able to tip bins high in order to fill larger trailers directly. <laughs> But they call it sugar cane tray, so whether you can use it as well for sugar cane, because it's actually got the carton symbol and it comes with a pack. So probably a bit of word and got the word and a bit wrong there. But like I say, I've also got glasses of baler, EB11, 6,000 to buy. Um, and then beside that, you've got the baler. Now that's the bass, and then beside it, you've got the baler, what we're just talking about. This this is the EV11, sorry, 6,000 to buy, so they're both 6,000. Um, that holds 11,000. 
capacity of cotton so they're all under cotton technology and then we've got what you call the trans mo or is it the trans medulla that's one bale you get one bale obviously so that's a bale collect but these is a collection of the bales and that just collect up in the ordinary way you just um, you tip it up in the air back up to your bale and then that will collect your bale obviously you require a truck because you require a dolly or a dolly for that but at the moment I'm just using the baler at the moment to do it but ideally I think you're meant to or can use this to collect it from the harvester so we'll get back out here hang on one more thing we're going to have a look at is to see if we can before we leave under cotton technology that's the in game that's the in game John Deere and you look at the price difference 847,000 for the in game for the DLC one the John Deere the in game and the DLC and for the this one the 9996 250,000 admit there's a bit of big difference in the horsepower this one ain't got so much horsepower and the bile is nowhere near so big on this one this this uh, modded one 4,000 bale on the DLC version you can make a 10,000 bale they're both 6 metre whip but the money you're saving you know you could buy 3 of these for the price of that one in that cotton pack DLC so uh, let's have a look there ain't no modifications you can do maximum forward speed is 27 miles per hour on the road like I say the only difference is 4,000 capacity instead of 10,000 on the DLC ver equivalent and the horsepower is a lot different but to buy this one like I say is 250,000 but no old uh, rations on it but we'll come back out of there and what we'll do is we'll I'll show you how you can fill it up if you want you can just have this part on the side of the field and just run your cart and harvester over to it there you go obviously that's made your bale now your bale is made so what we'll do is we'll fold it back up but them, them rear lights certainly don't work that's for sure they're not working I'll just let you have a quick look at it working I think it's got great animations now oh, on it got your you got your organs inside the tank here to move your cart and that around level it out a bit and stuff but I think that's an awesome piece of kit and for 250,000 instead of 800 and some odd for the in-game one if you like your John Deere stuff I know admittedly you've got to keep stop and they're empty and stuff but uh, rather than just pump a bile at the back but I think that's quite a nice little mod well done to connect modding so that's a cotton pack Brazil and the next the next mod we're going to look at is this one uh, the Kaweco, I hope I've got the name right, I'll probably butcher that a bit. I think by the looks of it, it's probably a manure system ready on PC, because as you lot of you know, I play on console. I've got the large Trelleborg tyres on it, and I think the spread width of it is 30 metres, 
or you can actually hook a boom on the back on the lift arms here this is called a swan neck as you can see and we'll have a quick look at it in the shop that will be under slurry slurry tankers and you go across like I say this one is by um, STV modding and you can alter it, you can alter the colour to whatever you have, most colours um, your wheel rim to a lot of them colours, all them colours your design colours I've actually got it uh, class colours and I've got it um, I've got it on Trolley Borg tyres wired which I think look kind of cool or you can have it standard, you can also have it in Michelin standard and wired no gain there's no alteration at all and the uh, the swan neck attachment is you can have it standard you can have it for the the Zerian I think that's the end of the attacher what it's altering on the end of the swan neck you can have it on the 3800 Zerian or egg Zerian what I've got it on or you can have it on the 500 but as you notice, it actually lengthens it. You see, it fit the obviously the five, the five thousand. Sorry, obviously the exerian or the zerian. Butch name bit there. Five thousand. So you can have it on either one. Um, like I say, uh, that holds thirty thousand liters of capacity. It requires two hundred and fifty horsepower. A power to use it and um, it's got a 30 meters width spread and that does in field when it's working that do 10 miles an hour and the cost is 88,700 for that one we had there so let's just show you this in action Like I said, the tractor I got it on is this one, the um, the class or class Exerian three thousand eight hundred or thirty eight hundred track VC. So let's hook it up. There you go. I think that's an absolutely brilliant mod, this one. So, you know, fair play to... STV. Very well detailed machine. And like I say, you can actually, if you want, you can actually put a... an open-up boom system on the back. On the lift arms. But let's just give it a try. So, yeah. But obviously I'm not spreading very I'm not spreading very wide because uh, I haven't got the the boom system on it. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed these review of these mods. Uh, thank you for watching. Please give a like. Or if you're not already sub sub to the channel, be much appreciated. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.